In this video, we're going to be talking about how to automate color correction in Photoshop so that you work faster and smarter. First off, we would go through all the customization settings available in auto mode and then we will set it to our own liking so that every time you open an image, you just have to go click click and it's automatically color corrected. But here's the thing, you know it very well, not just with Photoshop, but with any other application. The auto mode just does not work with everything, right? So. We are going to be talking about the situations when the auto mode won't work and how to overcome it. I'm going to tell you something up front and this is the best advice that I've ever got about color correction in my 9 years of Photoshop and that is not every image, listen to this closely, not every image requires color correction. There are going to be some image that will do just fine with a little bit of adjustments in Lightroom, right? But if you go ahead trying to color correct those images, no matter how intricate you go, the color correction will just mess it up. So keep that in mind that not every image is up for color correction. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this is one of the images that I captured in my college fest. Now, what's the problem with this image? The problem is, you can see that there is a blue cast and that's too much and we would like to remove it. Now, before, before going over color grading and all that kind of fancy stuff, we need to figure out two or three things. First off, unlock the background layer because if you don't, you won't be able to convert it into a smart object, right? To unlock it, if it's locked, if it's not locked, then fine. If it's locked, just unlock it. Click on the lock and it will be unlocked, right? Next step is right click on this layer and convert it to smart object. Here's why. When you apply the curves adjustment, you want it to be non-destructive, right? So to make that happen, you need to convert it into a smart object. So it's converted into a smart object and you can see that by a small square kind of icon on the right bottom of the image. Now go ahead to image adjustments and curves. Now in curves, instead of clicking auto, all you have to do, you have to click options. Now this will appear. Now these are the three options that you can cycle through to find out which one is the best. This kind of never works for me, I don't know why, but these three options are usually good. The first one as you can see is enhance monochromatic contrast. As the name suggests, monochromatic, it means that it will neglect all the colors, find the brightest and the darkest areas and analyzing them increase the contrast. It will not affect the colors. The next one is enhance per channel contrast. And here too, as the name suggests, per channel. What this will do is, this will expand the range of red, green and blue channels separately. Now this might not work with all of your images, but sometimes it does a pretty good job color correcting images which have a lot of colors. The third one is the one that we are going to focus on today and it gives you accurate result most of the time. And this is fine dark and light colors. What this does is this does the work of manual color correction to an extent. It takes the, you know, eyedropper tool, the black point eyedropper tool, clicks on the darkest area which we would have done manually, takes the white point eyedropper tool, clicks on the brightest area and done. That's what it does. Now, you might consider checking this snap neutral midtones. Now what this does, it scans through the image, finds out color which are closer to gray, right? and accordingly changes the tone of the image and neutralizes the image, all right? So, once you're pretty much satisfied with this, you can also go ahead and save this as a default setting. So if you check this and click OK, look what we have done. So this is the before, this is the after. As you can see, the blue cast has gone, not 100%, but this has done a pretty good job, right? Click OK. And the next time you have to color correct, you just have to go image, auto color and it will do the same process. Remember we saved it as default, so it will apply the same settings every time you select auto color. Now here's why I asked you to create a smart object. As you can see, if you're not satisfied and if you want to tweak the curves, you can go ahead and double click on it, double click on the curves and you can tweak it to your liking. Now here's the thing. 
you can also do this curves non-destructively using your adjustments layer so let's me let me go ahead and delete this smart filters and we can also do it using adjustment layer. so click on this this icon the half gray half flag circle right click on curves and in this you just cannot see those auto options but here's how you can find them click on this grid kind of thing and go to auto options and there you have all the options that you had in that setting but there's a little glitch uh, in this kind of doing because sometimes when i select the target colors it completely goes white i don't know whether this is prevalent with just my version of photoshop uh, maybe that's why i never use it i just prefer doing it the other way around which we discussed previously so let's go ahead and delete this so that's the way of doing it let's move on to the next example so all you have to do remember we saved the setting right so before doing anything unlock this convert it into a smart object and once it's converted you just have to go to image auto color where is it yeah watch in just one click it's automatically color corrected but here's the thing as I mentioned before, it won't work with every image just wash. If I go over to this image and let's not convert it into smart objects, it takes a little bit of time. So let's do it. I go to image, auto color. Let's see what happens. Now watch. It might not work, I'm guessing. No, it doesn't work. The blue cast is still there. So in those situations, you have to again go to image. Okay, one more thing, convert it into smart layer. Don't forget to do it. I'm not doing it because it makes the process a little slower uh, for this to, okay, let's do it. All right, let's convert it, I'll cut it. The reason why it's taking time is because this is a panorama of nine images and one image size is equal to like 24, 25 megabytes. So you can imagine how big the image size is. So it's still converting. Why? Because it's a huge image. It can even be a GB if I save it as TIFF. I don't know. So let's wait. So finally, it's been converted. Now what do we got to do? We got to go to image, not auto color this time. Adjustments, curves, and now watch same options right go to options and in options menu select this this is fine right so try unchecking this watch what happens it's much more warmer right the blue thing is gone click ok all right you can see it right now just look at the before and after this is before this is after this is much better than what we did previously click ok now this time this worked why it worked because we didn't go for neutral colors we unchecked snap to neutral colors now what that does is that it makes every image look as if the light source was white and there were no color casts now here's the problem with that sometimes you're gonna have a light source with a color cast which is desirable you don't want to remove the color cast maybe you are capturing a sunset sunset has that golden kind of beautiful light and you don't want to change it you don't want to change it to white light right suppose you are capturing your model next to a candle right next to a tungsten light and you want that beautiful golden color cast and you don't want to let go of it if you do color correction automatic in that thing what will happen is it will completely ruin it and make it completely white kind of greenish tint and strange things will happen right so you need to retain it at the same time you need to color correct it how to go about this for this i have this example now only use this method when you have a desirable color cast when you have a color cast that you want in your images so first off as i said unlock the layer and convert it into a smart object now while it's converting if you have a strong power of observation you might have observed that when we went to that automatic options just below snap to neutral colors there were certain options called target colors right and we're going to focus on just that in this example now it's converted we would again go to image adjustments and curves now watch in the options panel watch this target colors and clipping now what are these we'll get to that in a minute but before that you need to make sure that snap neutral midtones is checked why it's checked because this corresponds to this one if this is not checked the midtones will just not work all right okay now think of it in this way what do you want your shadows to be like what color 
do you want your shadows to be so if i go ahead and select any color so your shadows will be like that do you want it to be faded do you want it to be completely black right i just want it to be completely black but if you're looking for an effect that you usually see in instagram you can go ahead with something faded right red green whatever you can do anything with it okay i'll go with black complete black all right look at the highlights what do you want your highlights to be i usually go with complete white or a little off white especially for printing since i'm not going to give it for printing i would go with completely white click okay now here comes the midtone and this is the most essential thing what do you want your midtones to be you want your midtones to be orange right for this example you want them to be yellowish you want them to have that color cast of the sun so go ahead double click on it you can always pick color from the image itself as a sample so here we have the color cast take that as a sample now i'm going to warn you with something one click will not always be perfect you have to click on several areas and find out which one looks good to you it's just one click so it doesn't matter much so just let's try clicking here watch watch in just one click and this image has gone so beautiful trust me i'm doing it for the first time i'm doing this effect on this image for the first time now watch this is so beautiful try clicking on other places how it looks but i think my first choice was pretty good pretty darn good maybe this side this side yes this looks amazing click okay now if this was not checked this effect will not work right click this click okay now here's the thing if you have several images of the same location you can check save as defaults and when you open images of the same location all you have to do go to image auto color and once you're done with that location you can come back in this change the midtones to gray again and your auto color will revert back to its original setting all right click okay and we are pretty much done all right click okay this is so amazing it asks you save the target colors as default now what that will do is it's good if you say yes this will save it as a default which means that when you come to options those three colors will be automatically set already if you want it to be a default if you have similar images a lot of similar images you can go with yes and when you're done with those you can change it back again but for this i'll just go no because i just have one image of this sort all right so this is applying the curve right now so that's pretty much it that's how you automate color correction in photoshop i know this is a little tricky so if you have any questions suggestions feedback do leave them down in the comments below and if this video helped you make sure you give us a thumbs up and also you have to subscribe all right i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating but before i sign off there is a notice if you want a tutorial on manual color correction please do let me know down in the comments below and i'll surely make one all right bye take care keep creating peace it seems like i'm watching youtube with a very slow internet in photoshop look look at the ring just i don't know i think youtube stole it from photoshop or photoshop stole it from you i don't know something vice versa I might have happened but that happened right it's been five minutes and it's still like converting it into smart object and it's still doing it my god it's still doing it right it's been like 10 minutes